All right, guys, I'm here with a bit of information for Dragon Ball Legends. So the official Dragon Ball Legends Twitter accounts have just shown us the next two sparking units that we'll be getting in the game. One of which we've known since D-Jump, but the other one we're just finding out right now. So of course, one of the units is the sparking Nappa that we've known since V-Jump. And the other one is a Kid Gohan with Piccolo Assist, but this Gohan is also a revival unit. And I have a lot to say about this, but I'll say that as we progress in the video. But regardless, we do have gameplay of the units. So with that being said, let's take a look. Get ready, Gohan. Go. I got you. So now that we've seen what they can do, let's break it out. Starting off with Nappa, it says, Nappa is coming. This strike-based attacker has blast armor strike guards, nullifies special cover changes three times when entering battle, and gets strike damage up when drawing strike or blast starts. He also gives all foes sub count up against support or defense types. Okay, so one, blast armor. Good perk, point blank period. Like, blast armor has never, and I don't think will ever be bad. It's practically a way to guarantee you safe entry in neutral, especially if your opponent has nothing but Blast Arts cards, right? Um, unless they swap to unit that swaps Blast to Strike, but I digress. It's a good way to be able to enter your opponent's range. Now, nullifying cover change. This is also an amazing perk because of units that have really good cover change abilities, like UI Goku. You also have the likes of Gogeta uh, and other units, actually a plethora of units, but it sucks that it only nullifies it up to three times, but the fact of it being able to nullify it in general is still a good thing. So that's a good perk. He gets strike damage up when drawing strike or blast arts cards, which is great. So practically no matter what offensive option you decide to take with Nappa, you're going to get that buff towards his strike damage, which is also really good. And then he gives the foes substitution count up against support or defense types. Now, uh, because <clears throat> th this is well it's it's not necessarily a bad perk it's just very situational right like because if a person brings in like a team that doesn't really run with support units or defense types like that then that perk is useless right if it was just a general ability then okay you know like then it, it would work no matter who gets in but seeing that it's that specific it's kind of mediocre because there's one side where if they do bring a defense or support type then okay cool like you can keep them kind of out of the game for a little bit longer and well then again even with that there's units out there that can shorten sub count anyway so even if they brought like a healer or a defense type right you can still mitigate that if you have the right units and you know the circumstances arise and all stuff again it's that ability is way too situational so it's it's not bad but it's not good either so i, I really don't know how to feel about any of that but i'm hoping at the end of the day that in terms of you know like saiyan saga z because it's very clear that they're trying to build up that tag now that this nappa is the powerhouse for the blue units especially with getting all those uh, strike damage ups by using blast or strike i'm really hoping he's going to be that heavy hitter but that's really all there is to say about nappa or at least for right now now oh god moving on to this unit right it's time to talk about kid gohan with the piccolo assist so it says kid gohan piccolo assist is coming he revives with 40 percent health when his health reaches zero cannot revive if health reaches zero due to an enemy self-destruct attack he also gets massive power-ups for 30 timer counts after revival. So, um, there's not really much, you know, stated about this unit, right? 
But uh, obviously, if you use for whatever reason, like Zenkai 16, or if you use, uh, I believe, Cybermen, like from the Cyber Squad that we just got, if you land self destruct on this Gohan and it wipes him out, he's gone. So that completely nullifies revival. So it's kind of cool to see that they're trying to find ways to now mitigate revival as well so it's not snapped although let's be serious now hybrids now have two revival units so that's scary and, and that's excluding endurance by the way they have two revival units now oh my goodness but that's that's a whole different thing anyway so with him being able to revive with 40 percent uh health is still good and from what it seems like in the gameplay it seems that when he revives, he retaliates with an attack. Now that's a first, right? Because all the revival units in the game, they would revive and then you're set to either neutral, like mid range or long range, right? But with this Gohan, he retaliates. So I, it's actually, it would be beneficial in a way if that Gohan dies, because it can give you extra damage, but I'm pretty sure that it's gonna be a type of attack where you're gonna, take uh you know you're gonna take the damage you're gonna revive but when gohan retaliates with the attack it won't kill the opponent because I, I think that'd be kind of snapped like it would really be messed up because at that point that would make this gohan a super defensive unit and you would kind of be baiting them to try to wipe out that gohan so that way you can get like the finishing kill if it's like a one-on-one -on -one or something along those lines right i, I think that'd be kind of busted so i don't know if it's gonna be like that I kind of hope it's not going to be like that because that really wouldn't be fair. But with the fact of him being able to attack after the revival happens is actually really, really dope. But um, yeah, and of course, he gets the massive power up for 30 time counts, which is a good thing. Uh, What that entails, we don't know because, again, they really didn't give us that many details. But uh, it's, it's still pretty, pretty nice to see. That's really it though um there's not really much else to talk about this gohan except the fact that one him being a revival unit is kind of crazy two oh god it's he's another hybrid unit okay look i, I love hybrids right you, you guys already know that my favorite uh character in all dragon ball is gohan right specifically super saiyan 2 team gohan right but let's be serious they are giving hybrids way too much love now and normally like you know for a guy like me who really likes gohan that would that should make me the happiest person in the world but at this point hybrids is so well-rounded in every regard literally what can we do at this point again we still have zenkai super saiyan 2 um you know lf gohan running rampant as the best unit in the game and then right next to him is another hybrid unit well with that being the purple revival um super saiyan gohan and then you also have future gohan with endurance and then you have everybody else that falls behind that line and at this point it's just more so will hybrids ever be dethroned at this point because they have everything <laughs> and i literally mean everything but now adding this gohan to that mix oh boy um i mean it's good that he's going to be able to be utilized on Saiyan Saga Z. Again, they're really trying to build up that tag. Very obvious. Nothing against that. But throwing him on hybrids? Oh, boy. Uh, that's that's going to be an experience. But, um, yeah. Oh, and one quick thing that I forgot to note is uh, his special move changes when he revives and all that stuff. So, um, when he... Uh, or before he revives, he does an attack and Piccolo swoops in and attacks. And then, of course, when he revives, it turns to Masenko. So there's that. But all in all, though, um, I'm actually really interested in Gohan. Uh, I, I kind of hope that Nappa can hold his own. But more so, as long as Gohan is good, then I'm kind of OK. I'm pretty sure that's the unit that everybody will be going for if they summon on this banner. And that's what I want to know in the comment section below. If you guys are actually even remotely excited for these units, which one are you going to aim for the most? Again, let me know in the comment section below. But with that being said, I'm Itakuba, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.